I'm Marshall Levinson with Rivals. We're out here at day two of Elite 11 Finals. We've got KJ Lacey here, Texas commit. Just kind of talk about how you think you did today. Had the you know the pro day and the accuracy drills. How do you think you, you know, how do you think it all went? Right, uh, I think I did pretty good. Uh, the accuracy challenge thing, I started off a little bit slow on the first round. I think I scored 23. Um, I don't, I'm not going to get into the math right now. I'm pretty sure I scored 33 on the next one. So I uh, uh, feel like if I just, you know, just got to start off strong on everything and get out there and do what I got to do. Uh, down here, um, did I think I did it actually pretty good starting yep. it off. Uh, I don't think I missed any until I might have missed the, I missed the deep ball right here. Yeah. I think that was the only one I missed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all around that did pretty good. You know? Yeah, like I said, Texas commit. You were just talking a couple minutes ago. Locked in with Texas. You're going for your official visit this weekend. Right. Just kind of talk about some of these guys you're trying to build this class. Obviously, a lot of big name receivers that you're right. going after. Sir. Talk about what that group kind of looks like and kind of what you're looking for and you know looking to do this weekend. Yes, sir, uh, uh, Decorian kind of already took his visit. Um, that. The staff feels really strong about that. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we get them. It'd be crazy if we do. Yeah. Uh, especially with the other two we're trying to get right now. So um, Jamie French, I feel that's the one I feel the strongest on right now. Yep. Out of all the receivers. Um, now I gotta get. Damn, who was that? <laughs> Not uh, back on track, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, Khalid Lockett. Um, yeah. Yep. He's gonna be the first visit this weekend too. So. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah, those two, uh, you gotta get those two. Off, and I get those, so I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to you just kind of about the overall future, kind of your thoughts with Texas. Obviously, a lot of these big name guys, you know, they could be joining the class, a bunch that are already committed, a bunch that already are on the roster that I'm sure you're connecting with. Just kind of talk about your feelings on the future and what you're kind of, you know, trying to do in Austin. Uh, a lot of people were doubting if the receiver core was going to be great this year coming in. Yep. Um, since we lost Worry, then we lost uh, AD this year, but. They went on to the league, got drafted uh, like pretty early in the draft, but then yep. reloaded just like that because they came back. So uh, they ended up getting Wingo, then they got um, Bond over from Alabama. Yep. So I feel like nothing's going to fall off uh, offensively or defensively because loaded quarterbacks, obviously. Running backs are really good, young and old. Uh, I mean, well, it's not really any old running backs in yeah. the room right now. So um, receivers, it's all over the place right now. You got a couple of transfers and you got – true freshman in Wingo, so I feel like it's really good there. And then our class coming in with those three, with those three, it's going to be loaded. Yeah. I'm Marshall Levinson with Rivals out here at Elite 11. KJ, appreciate yes, you. Good luck tomorrow. Welcome.